Hello, this is a demo of how to set up your FTD uh, AnyConnect deployment, and this is using FTD 6.7.0-65 uh, for RAVPN and integrating it with Azure SAML for authentication. All right, to start off our configuration, let's take a look at this. Um, we'll have to create, there are a number of steps we have to configure. Uh, first, we'll have to create uh, some things ahead of time, like the AnyConnect user VPN profile. Right, This is done uh, by using the AnyConnect uh, VPN profile editor. You can download this from CCO. And uh, once you download uh, this, you can install it on your Windows machine, and you'll see there's a bunch of different profile editors. And pick the one that says VPN profile editor here. So I, I launched it and I created a profile. I checked my settings. These are my settings. Most of them are on uh, default. Make sure certificate override. Uh, I actually, actually like to check that. Make sure uh, we can look in both certificate stores. And then uh, from a VPN profile perspective, uh, number two is just default. And the third piece that's most important is the actual server list. This is what's going to get populated into the AnyConnect client uh, drop-down menu where they select where they're going to connect to. So I created multiple ones. Uh, the ones that we're going to work with today is called uh, 1120FTD-Azure. And that's my host name. Uh, the user group is called Azure. Okay, so that's the entry I have uh, created in here. Okay, so I save it to a profile called AnyConnect VPN Profile.xml on my PC here. All right, so let's go ahead and jump to uh, my Firepower configuration. And so you can see in my Firepower VPN section, uh, this again, this is Firepower 6.7.0-65, uh, I uploaded my AnyConnect VPN profile here. So I just added it into this menu here. I've also added my AnyConnect 4.9 for Windows, 4.9.3049 web deploy package ahead of time. So I also upload it here as well. Okay, so those two packages. And ignore this third one. This is for the management tunnel for something else. Um, and then a few more things ahead of time you have to set up is a, a group URL. So I created a group URL called uh, irvdmz 1120ftd.cisco.com slash Azure. That's the actual group URL that the client is going to be connecting to. So that's just uh, the name there. Okay. All right. Um, so let's start by um, logging into, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our PKI because uh, doing SAML, there's a lot of certificates involved, or not a lot, some. So we need to go to PKI, go to certificate enrollment, and I added in a Azure SAML entry here. So I called Azure SAML. So I just add certificate enrollment, call Azure SAML. And then I've downloaded uh, the certificate from my Azure portal. So uh, just make sure you pick the enrollment type to be manual. Check the CA only box because you're not issuing certificates, certificates from Azure. And then uh, cut and paste these uh, base 64 our PEM file of your certificate from Azure so you can trust Azure, FMC or trust Azure. And then also make sure you check this box, skip check for CA flag for in base, basic constraints of that certificate. Okay, now where do I get the certificate? So if you log into your Azure portal, I have it in the back here, and I'll back it up here. If you go to Azure, um, when you first log into your Azure portal into your account, uh, there's an Azure Active Directory. I go into here. Okay, and then it shows you my tenant information. And then I go to the enterprise application. And then I created an application called uh, Firepower Threat Defense FTD AnyConnect. Okay, so I created that application for Azure to protect. And then I assign the user that I want to be allowed to use that uh, this application. And then I went to the single sign on section. And so the certificate. I download it from step number three, the SAML certificate. So you need for your portal, just go to the certificate base 64, download into my PC, and then I upload that into FMC so for to trust it. Okay, so we'll come back uh, more for this. Now um, in my FMC, so I, I download that certificate and open it up via Word file or editor, and then I just cut and paste uh, the certificate file into here. So it's just a blob, begin certificate, end certificate, cut and paste in there, and you're good to go. Okay, and you can leave the rest of them all uh, a default. 
Okay, so once you added that entry, so you now you have a SAML entry, Azure SAML for a certificate. It's like a trust point here. Now we can go back up to the AAA server and create a single sign-on server. Okay, and you can see here, I created the Azure SAML SSO entry already by clicking on the add single sign-on, but I'll show you what it looks like. In here, so it's called Azure SAML SSO. And then there's the uh, identity provider, uh, which is uh, my Azure account. And I'll show you that in a second here. And then the base URL, this is the, the URL that, of my FTD appliance. It's herbdmz 1120ftd.cisco.com. And then this is the identity provider certificate that I call Azure SAML, right? This is the one that we downloaded. I imported it into the PKI section and I, uh, I just did a drop down and picked my Azure a SAML certificate that I created earlier. Now, where do I uh, fill in the rest of the information on the top? Well, like the entity ID, the single sign-on URL, and the logout URL all came from Azure. So if you go into Azure portal and go down to step number four, see so set up your Firepower FTD uh, AnyConnect. So this, just cut and paste the login URL, Azure AD identifier and logout URL. So just cut and paste these three lines and paste it right into here. Uh, entity ID, uh, SSO URL, and logout URL. Just cut and paste those lines into there. Okay. Uh, base URL, as I mentioned, that's the URL of the VPN connection profile, the certificate we got. Identity provider, which is service provider uh, certificate, that's the uh, identity certificate of FTD itself was not really needed, so there's no asterisk here, so it's not a required parameter. Uh, request timeout is no signature. Request timeout um, uh, by default is not, but I put it for 300 seconds for like five minutes. And then the request IDP reauthentication to login. So just check that box and then that's it. So that you're good to go there. Okay, so now we have the single sign on server uh, created. We can go into our device. Uh, RAVPN configuration. Okay, so here I have already created an overall VPN policy called all any kind of VPN. So let me go and edit this. And then I had some other VPN set up already, a uh, connection profile. So I added one here called Azure. Okay, so if I go into my Azure profile, and so it's called Azure, and then I have a group policy called Group Policy Azure. And then uh, if I just go through the rest of the, I assigned an IP address pool locally, 10.11.11 something. And then um, I'm not doing DACP server, I'm just assigning it from my FTD box. And then for AAA, I, uh, authentication method is SAML. So make sure you pick SAML, not AAA or certificate, just pick SAML. And then my authentication server, in this case, is gonna be my Azure SAML SSO server that we created just uh, two minutes ago. Okay, so pick that guy. And then your authorization and accounting is not really needed. I just have it pointing over to my ICE RADIUS server for now, uh, but it's not really needed here unless you want to do some uh, uh, other authorization actions later, but it's not required. Then for alias, this is, uh, I created an alias name called Azure uh, with a plus symbol here and you enable it. And same thing with the group URL. Um, here, I just hit the plus sign and I picked the, the URL, that's my base URL slash Azure that the user is gonna be connecting to. So I just picked that option in there because I created that earlier. So it's all done in here. Now let's go look at group policy. My group policy is called uh, group policy Azure. VPN protocol I left it as default. IP address pool, I picked my VPN pool, no banner. Uh, DNS server, this is my local DNS server in my Irvine lab. It's a Windows 2016 uh, DNS server. The domain is there. And split tunneling, right now I'm just tunneling all traffic over VPN and sending all DNS requests over VPN. So this is sort of default here. For AnyConnect, uh, again, this is the AnyConnect profile that we created in the beginning with the profile editor. So I just hit the add symbol in here and um, well, actually drop down, I picked the any kind of profile that I created earlier in the object page. Uh, management tunnel is not needed for now. Client module, you can add whatever additional modules you want. Um, I left the default because I'm just working with VPN. 
SSL settings, uh, default, uh, then these are all default values for now. In advanced, same thing, uh, filter, traffic, session ID, session setting is all default. Okay, so that's it. Hit cancel. And then um, hit save. Now, I gotta go check the access interface. Um, I've also enrolled my uh, FTD with my lab Windows 26 CA. So this is the certificate of my Windows 2016 root CA. So my FTD is trusting Azure and also FTD is trusting my lab root CA. Okay, so that's the SSL Global Identity Certificate. It's like a trust point um, here. Now, where did I get this? So if I go back to my objects page, I'll actually open a new tab here. Uh, again, if I go to the PKI section, I created a certificate, a trust point. Okay, you hit the add certificate enrollment, but here I'm just editing. And I um, imported the certificate from my Windows uh, 2016 CA into here. So begin certificate, this whole blob of uh, base 64 code paste it in here and I hit, hit this uh, skip check as well. So I just paste it on here. So this is a trust point um, for my Windows 2016 CA, okay? And if you don't know how to get that, you can simply log into your Windows CA, search serve and I authenticate and I just downloaded, downloaded a CA cert right here and base 64 and you just download the certificate then open up what's inside that certificate and paste it into this Windows 2016 root CA here for that uh, trust point. Okay, um, so that's where I got the uh, lab CA there. And then for the advanced section, uh, I just picked the AnyConnect Windows that I uploaded earlier and you can leave all other settings default, okay? And I just hit save. I haven't really made much changes. And then the last thing to do is the certificate enrollment. You got to go to the devices certificate enrollment section. And here you have to add your Windows uh, server because I'm, I'm trusting my Windows server as well as trusting Azure SAML uh, site there. So basically you hit the add button uh, and hit pick your device. My device is the Firepower 1120. And then you select a certificate you want to enroll, right? So I have a Windows 16 uh, CA and an Azure SAML. Okay, so in this case, um, for Azure, for SAML, uh, Azure, uh, just pick Azure SAML, and you can see this is just CA only, and you hit Add. Okay, and and you'll get this outcome here: this CA certificate, and there's no identity certificate issue by Azure here. But I also did this for Windows 2016 server. Um, this is a CA certificate. And then I had to uh, do a CSR, generate a CSR for my AS, uh, Firepower Threat Defense device, Firepower 11 and 20 device to, um, to get signed by Windows 2016 CA. Okay, so that's outside the scope of this uh, demo right now, uh, ma mainly focusing on Azure here. Okay, so that's it. So uh, make sure your FTD device is trusting both of them if you're going to be using both of them here. But Azure is definitely important here. Okay, with that said, that's pretty much done here. So all the configurations uh, have been done. So now let's go ahead and go to my FTD box. And I have, actually, if I'm already connected, let me drop this connection here. Okay, so you can see here, here's my Windows client. Uh, my Connection group URL is FTD uh, dash Azure. So I'm going to go and hit connect this. This, I mean, our, this is, was already imported because I connected to it earlier. But really, uh, you can type in the full URL, ervdmz dash uh, 1120ftd.cisco.com slash Azure. That's the connection profile uh, to connect. But anyway, I'll hit connect here. And I'm going to log on. So at this point, is redirecting me to Azure. Sam also, I'm going to log in here.
Okay. And then type in my password with Azure. And I'm going to stay sign on. That's fine. And voila, there it is. Azure connection has been connected. Let me bring that window back up here. And the user tunnel is up. I'm connected. I got an IP address of 10, 11, 11, 13. Then if I log into my FTD box, um, let's see here. Show VPN session any connect. This shows me my VPN session uh, right here, Jerry at Irvine Security dot on Microsoft dot com ten eleven eleven thirteen. So I am connected here. Okay. Now one thing about uh, I haven't mentioned is in the Azure configuration, um, you also have to put in at the top step number one basic SAML right this is telling Azure SAML where to redirect the user back after authentication so you have to find get some information put some information in here so the so there's three lines you have to configure in this you just hit edit you got to enter it into here and you can get the ASA information that you input to Azure from the CLI so for example if I go to so you have to use a command show SAML metadata Azure. Azure is my uh, connection profile name. Okay, and then this is where you enter the information, the metadata. Uh, there's the entity ID right there. So that's the Azure. So you can see that's HTTPS, herb DNZ, dash 1120 FT, all the way to slash Azure. That, cut and paste that into here. And then you got also put the assertion consumer service URL, and that's also here, assertion consumer URL. Okay, so grab uh, the line over here. It says HTTPS down here, uh, tunnel group name equals Azure. So cut and paste that into here. And then the last line is the logout URL. The logout URL is also down here. It says uh, these last lines of logout. So here's the URL to paste into there. So you cut and paste that into here. So the format's pretty much the same. It's just, you have to specify the uh, FQDN of your FTD device at the very beginning, and then you add on the additional fields. Okay, so that's been populated, uh, and you download a certificate, and that's pretty much it. Um, and then you can give a test. So uh, that, is pretty much it for the my demo on how to set up Azure with a uh, Firepower 6.7 FTD. Hopefully this is helpful and uh, drop me a note uh, if you uh, have questions or suggestions. Thanks for watching.